Hey guys, this has been a review that I've been really looking forward to. We're finally doing it. This is Bree. If you guys remember Bree, she did the review for Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. We also did a reaction video about the trailer for Crimes of Grindelwald. Wald. <laughs> and Grindelwald. Yeah. <laughs> bring her back for the review of this film because I feel that we might have some interesting polarizing ideas as well as some interesting kind of just thoughts about the film but I guess just first like what did you think of it? I liked it at first and then I thought more about it and now I have a lot more feelings. <laughs> when I went and saw it I had heard all the negative news about it. I didn't think it was terrible. I just thought it was boring and very broken. This film basically is proof that J.K. Rowling needs a script supervisor. She can write a book, but she can't write a script. And I know she's a fantastic writer and everything, but th those aren't the same mediums. You need someone who's involved in big movie media stuff like this. But uh, what were things you liked about this film? Like, what do you think of it in terms of just more building on the lore and I guess the whole character of Grindelwald because we got to see Depp not drunk in this. So. <laughs> Well, what you said, building up. Basically, to me, I did feel it was a filler movie. Mm -hmm. um, and you kind of need those when there's a lot of movies. Well, there's supposed to be five. Movies, yeah, right? so you kind of need movies to kind of develop what's happening in the storyline, to connect dots. Um, so I liked, in the ending, what can come up with future movies. I guess. Yeah, but you're, yeah, you're right. I think the only thing that really stands out in terms of what happened in this movie is Grindelwald escapes. And that's it. <laughs> I, I, some people die, For some the characters future of the die, movie? but yeah, I don't really understand what this set up. Like, otherwise. The, the, Credence you, is Dumbledore's. Yeah, sibling, which that's, that's another whole that's bag so of worms. That's so much power, and that's, that's what I mean. It's that's a, huge. It's another big bag of worms of that, too. A lot of people are like, that doesn't make any sense, apparently, either. I, I don't know how it doesn't make sense, <laughs> but uh, that's the. Uh, mind you, though, she did establish in the first one that Obscure's last only 10 years, right? Yes. And then all of a sudden he's, <laughs> Newt says, Oh, he must put a stronger uh, a stronger bone than others. It's like, oh cool, JK's you're rewriting your own lore in your own movie, cool. And now she just seems to have completely forgotten about that. Like, Credence doesn't seem to have any problems being this massive ball of terror and power. It's not killing him at all. He's just Nyeh. Hey Nagini, let's go! No, he's clearly not stable. Well, he seems a lot more stable in this than he was in the first one. I'm not objecting to the way they're developing his character. Oh, no. like and Anything I, can happen, Oh, right? true. I think that's an, just another kind of twirl around with the, the issues, is that there's so many different storylines happening. There's, there's, there's Queenie and Porky. There's Newt and what's-her-name. Porky. There's... there's, there's uh, Grindelwald, obviously, Dumbledore's edition, and then uh, yeah. Credence. Yeah. And it's just like, wow, there's a lot of movies happening right now. You got you couldn't have split this into different ones. No, okay. I did like they kept with his visual stuff. I think that it's good for now. But the thing that I am a little worried about is that since David Yates is directing all five movies, we're not gonna have a change of theme and kind of visual style like the Harry Potter movies did. At least the first mm, four. Mm -hmm. First five, really. Because they, Chris Columbus, Chris Columbus, uh, Alfonso Caranzo, Mike Newell, and then David Yates. Mm -hmm. So there's been a change, and I'm kind of worried that David Yates is going to just... It's going to be too consistent? It's going to be kind of the same film over and over again. Well, I mean, it definitely wasn't compared to the last one. I felt it was very similar. I think for me it wasn't similar in the ways that I would want it to be similar. Mm. Um, it admittedly, it had more color, thank God. That was yeah. something that I was drastically missing from the first movie. Everything was so gray and dull in America and in France that has all these colors and their ministry was like a really cool looking building. So I, I like that they added a little bit more variety, a little more color, and there weren't... I thought that the dragon cat thing was kind of funny. I like the animals, and I like that part. I do. I loved it, it so was, much. It, I thought it was better than the weird elephant 
<laughs> rhino thing. There has to be weird combinations of everything though, because it can't be. It has to be cool and weird. But there, to me, there wasn't enough animal development. I guess. Or like animal storyline. Like it's Fantastic I, Beasts and where to find them. I think that's, that's the, the problem one. that they shouldn't have kept that Fantastic Beasts as a name holder. It should have just yeah. been different movie names throughout. Crimes of Grindelwald. Like, I guess because she's like, oh, Harry Potter and... So I'm gonna do Fantastic Beasts and... So... I think that she's written herself into a pickle because I... Very... I bet she's trying to force monsters and animals and whatnot into these movies. And it's gonna be so shoehorned in. By the last one, he's literally gonna bring a... A dragon hawk or something and he's that's gonna... What, that's how that works. <laughs> the combination of things... You but, try to think of well, apparently he's not even going to be a main. He's not even going to be the main character anymore, which kind of needs to happen because the final battle between Dumbledore and Grindelwald. Yeah. Yeah. I, other like we're basing this off of a textbook writer, right? <laughs> yeah, it's that's what I loved so much about the first one. That's what I loved. The thing, basically, Newt encapsulates the feeling that I get when I watch the first couple Harry Potter movies oh. as a kid. He encapsulates the um, whimsical and wonderful and wholeheartedness and just special people. He's a special person. So to me, he brought back the the nostalgia that came with Harry Potter. Oh, I can see that. So it's sad for me to see it not continuing because that's really what, really what kept me like I, I didn't I went to that movie not expecting anything when I first saw Fantastic Beasts mm -hmm. and I was so happy with it because oh I, 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 I thought captured it captured yeah. that yeah I admittedly I thought it was it was it was better than I thought it was going to be too I was very I, worried I, I found the side characters really enjoyable uh, Queenie and what's his name <laughs> The guy, the guy who... I love him, too. Like, it's such a wonderful character. I just remember him from that ping pong movie. He's Balls a... of Fury. <laughs> yeah, but that's another issue. Just the whole queenie thing. Like, she just switches sides like that. What and happened? she just watched Grindelwald murder 20 people in cold blood. And he's like, yeah, I'm going with you. I can but read mom, your I mind. I can read your mind and clearly figure out that you're up to nasty shit. But I'm gonna go with you because apparently I'm susceptible. I'm susceptible. Susceptible. I'm curious to see why she went. That happened. In, oh, she like, better have the, a goddamn good in reason. The, in the grand scheme of things, like, what was the thought process to like? How is that going to end up? Is that going to become a different story that really affects something else in a future story? What? What was that? And if they don't do anything with that, I'm gonna be so upset. Yeah, I have a feeling it might just get. No, because in the ending, when they're talking, like, she's being really helpful to him, and maybe she'll be, like, a right hand no. woman, because she maybe. can read people's minds, and I guess. She she's be a tool. corrupted. Well, uh, I guess that ties into the final thing. Like, Grindelwald, what, what did you think of Depp's performance? I, I've i heard a lot of people say that he they thought that he was good, they someone thought that he had, like, he had presence. I honestly just thought he looked bored. He's like, I'm not being weird. I'm in white makeup. I've got two different colored eyes, but I'm not weird. Well, I don't know what to do. So. I think that goes into my feelings of there wasn't very much character development. Oh, no. Um, which, again, was something that I felt was really important and I really enjoyed in the first one. And I hate comparing the movie so much to the first one, but it was hard not to. Um, so for, Gr for Grindelwald, it was hard to get enticed by his character because there wasn't very much there so i wasn't well attached to him as a villain oh yeah well because like nothing really happens in this movie the, the, like you said it's a placeholder film yeah for what's gonna happen like maybe the next one will have a lot more but this is just again coming full circle i, I really feel that rolling needs someone to help her write these movies she needs someone to be like no no yeah, no, that you, you gotta tie that loose end. No, that ch twist doesn't make sense. Nah, McGonagall wasn't even born yet. Oh, Nicholas Flamel? Okay, I, okay. I, I, 
I thought he he was he was a bit fan servicey, but I thought he was kind of cool. I he, thought his inclusion person. was funny. Yeah, seeing, I read so much about his name. For yeah, so you long. never seen what he looked like, and right? I'm Nicholas Mom. You're like, holy shit! Yeah, and so. he's brittle. You know my rating out of seven. If uh, for that, what would you give this film? Um, four and a half. Five? Four and a half. You're gonna four and a half? Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna give this film a three because I feel that the film had some cool parts to it. There are some narrative issues. It's kind of boring, but it's not the be all end all worst. There's been a lot of worse movies this year. I don't think it was a bad movie. I think it was a <laughs> boring movie. I think that's my my biggest crime for it. I felt very bored crime. when I was watching this. Crime. The crime Real. of. <laughs> no! <laughs> well, there's lots more to come, so. Yeah. But, anyways, I'm Reed, excited. thank you for being back again. I'm very happy to have you back. It's been a while. So, you know, you guys can wait and see whenever we re hopefully can do a reaction video for the trailer for the next trailer. movie. And then. I'll cry more. I think I cried in the last one. You got really excited. And I was like, hey, that's cool. Wait, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> I'm like, I don't, it's, it's Hogwarts. I cried. Uh, I cried when it I, showed Hogwarts did you in this watch, last did one. You, like, in the reactions, people loved you. They hated me. <laughs> they hated me. So I'm you're like, nah. Nah, so I'm expecting the same thing for this video, too. So anyways, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you liked it. If you did, leave a like. And if you're interested in more, maybe subscribe. Otherwise, see you guys next time.